Hey there, Adalo Makers. Today we're going to look at custom layout settings and how we can use this to really optimize the experience that our users have when they're using one of Adalo's uh, responsive apps. Um, and you'll notice I've, I've got our typical container here. Um, I've got a desktop tablet view, right, which kind of changes. But then once I get to a uh, mobile view, it, things kind of get a little bit wonky, right? Um, so what I'd like to do is, you know, I could just grab the, the edge of this rectangle and just, you know, pull this out. Okay, brilliant. It's fixed. Well, if I go back to tablet view, you'll see that now it's like expanding all the way across the screen. And of course, even worse for desktop. I really don't want it to expand all the way across the screen like that. So this is where custom layout settings comes in, right? And this is where I can, even though something on desktop doesn't take up the entire screen, maybe on mobile, I do want it to take up the entire screen. So um, if I don't want it to share the layout settings of say tablet and desktop, right? Because uh, right now tablet is just a scaled version of what you're viewing on desktop. Uh, I don't want it to be scaled on mobile because if it is scaled, it's way too small here, right? So one of the things that I can do is I can actually, if I go to mobile view and I've got this, this rectangle container selected, right? All of these components inside here are technically a part of this background rectangle here. So what I can do is select that, that kind of background rectangle there. And I'm going to turn off shared layout for mobile. And what this does is makes it so that this rectangle behaves completely differently than anything with these shared layout settings here. So now I can pretty much design with this independently of what's happening on the other screens. Um, and this is on a component by component basis. So, um, if for some reason these components inside it are not behaving properly, uh, I can always turn, you know, uh, these are, you know, sharing the layout settings of uh, whatever the parent is, right? Um, uh, so right now they're just stays fixed, but I could certainly set it to inherit the property of this, this background rectangle if I wanted to. So because this background rectangle has uh, custom layout settings turned on, what I can do is just extend this out to make it look the way that I want it to look. And then when I go back to ta tablet view, you can see that it kind of stays the same here, exactly the way it was, and the same on desktop. So we, we don't have it stretching all the way across the screen anymore. So the other cool thing about custom layout settings is not only does it change these two properties here, right? The, the width resizing and where it's anchored, uh, but it also can, can affect the positioning of a specific object on the screen, right? So let's say that I didn't want this box to be at the top. Let's say on mobile, I wanted it to be at the bottom. All I have to do is just change it uh, to the bottom as long as I've got it switched to mobile view here. And then when I go back to tablet view, you can see it's back at the top again. Um, and same thing for desktop, right? So uh, this is really handy for creating these custom uh, layouts for uh, you know, really optimizing the responsive experience for your users um, and controlling what happens with these things, where they're positioned, where they're anchored. Um, and you can control all of that with this custom layout settings here.